Devanagari Devi Nagar -e, Devanagari IAST, Devanagari, a compound of Deva, Deva and Nagari. Nagari Hindi pronunciation, Danari, also called Nagari, Nagari, Nagari is an abugida alpha syllabary used in India and Nepal. It is written from left to right, has a strong preference for symmetrical rounded shapes within squared outlines, and is recognizable by a horizontal line that runs along the top of full letters. In a cursory look, the Devanagari script appears different from other Indic scripts such as Eastern Nagari, Odia, or Gurmukhi, but a closer examination reveals they are very similar except for angles and structural emphasis. The Nagari script has roots in the ancient Brahmi script family. Some of the earliest epigraphical evidence attesting to the developing Sanskrit Nagari script in ancient India, in a form similar to Devanagari, is from the 1st to 4th century CE inscriptions discovered in Gujarat. The Nagari script was in regular use by the 7th century CE and it was fully developed by about the end of 1st millennium. The use of Sanskrit in Nagari script in medieval India is attested by numerous pillar and cave temple inscriptions, including the 11th century Udiyagiri inscriptions in Madhya Pradesh, and an inscribed brick found in Uttar Pradesh, dated to be from 1217 CE, which is now held at the British Museum. The script's proto and related versions have been discovered in ancient relics outside of India, such as in Sri Lanka, Myanmar and Indonesia, while in East Asia, Siddha Matrika script considered as the closest precursor to Nagari was in use by Buddhists. Nagari has been the primus inter pares of the Indic scripts. It has long been used traditionally by religiously educated people in South Asia to record and transmit information, existing throughout the land in parallel with a wide variety of local scripts such as Modi, Kaithi, and Mahajani used for administration, commerce, and other daily uses. The Devanagari script is used for over 120 languages, making it one of the most used and adopted writing systems in the world. Among the languages using it, as either their only script or one of their scripts, are Hindi, Sanskrit, Pali, Awadhi, Bhojpuri, Braj Bhasha, Chattisgari, Haryanvi, Magahi, Nagpuri, Rajasthani, Bihili, Dagri, Marathi, Nepali, Maithili, Kashmiri, Konkani, Sindhi, Bodo, Nepalbasa, Malayalam Mundari, and Santali. The Devanagari script is closely related to the Nandinagari script, commonly found in numerous ancient manuscripts of South India, and it is distantly related to to a number of Southeast Asian scripts, Devanagari script has 47 primary characters, of which 14 are vowels and 33 are consonants. The ancient Nagari script for Sanskrit had two additional consonantal characters. Unlike the Latin alphabet, the script has no concept of letter case. Generally the orthography of the script reflects the pronunciation of the language. History. Devanagari is part of the Brahmic family of scripts of India, Nepal, Tibet, and Southeast Asia. It is a descendant of the 3rd century BCE Brahmi script through the Gupta script, along with Siddham and Sharada. Variants of script called Nagari, recognizably close to Devanagari, are first attested from the 1st century CE Rudradaman inscriptions in Sanskrit, while the modern standardized form of Devanagari was in use by about 1000 CE. Medieval inscriptions suggest widespread diffusion of the Nagari-related scripts, with biscripts presenting local script along with the adoption of Nagari scripts. For example, the mid-8th century Patadakal pillar in Karnataka has text in both Siddha Matrika script, and an early Telugu Kannada script, while, the Kangra Javamukhi inscription in Himachal Pradesh is written in both Sharada and Devanagari scripts. The 7th century Tibetan king Srong Tisan Gambo ordered that all foreign books be transcribed into the Tibetan language. He sent his ambassador Tanmi Samboda to India to acquire alphabet and writing methods, returning with Sanskrit Nagari script from Kashmir corresponding to 24 Tibetan sounds and innovating new symbols for six local sounds. Other closely related scripts such as Siddham Madurka were in use in Indonesia, Vietnam, Japan and other parts of East Asia by between 7th to 10th century. Sharada remained in parallel use in Kashmir. An early version of Devanagari is visible in the Katila inscription of Bairaili dated to Vikram Samvat 1049 i.e. 992 CE, which demonstrates the emergence of the horizontal bar to group letters belonging to a word. 
One of the oldest surviving Sanskrit texts from the early post Maurya period consists of 1,413 Nagari pages of a commentary by Patanjali, with a composition date of about 150 BCE. The surviving copy transcribed about 14th century CE. Nagari is the Sanskrit feminine of Nagara, relating or belonging to a town or city, urban. It is a phrasing with lippi, script, as Nagari lippi, script relating to a city, or spoken in city The use of the name Devanagari emerged from the older term Nagari According to Fisher Nagari emerged in the northwest Indian subcontinent around 633 CE was fully developed by the 11th century and was one of the major scripts used for the Sanskrit literature Topic <laughs> Southeast Asia Most of the Southeast Asian scripts have roots in the Dravidian scripts, except for a few found in south-central regions of Java and isolated parts of Southeast Asia that resemble Devanagari or its prototype. The Kawi script in particular is similar to the Devanagari in many respects though the morphology of the script has local changes. The earliest inscriptions in the Devanagari-like scripts are from around the 10th century, with many more between 11th and 14th century. Some of the old Devanagari inscriptions are found in Hindu temples of Java, such as the Prambanan Temple. The Lagore and the Kalasan inscriptions of central Java, dated to the 8th century, are also in the Nagari script of North India. According to the epigraphist and Asian studies scholar Lawrence Briggs, these may be related to the 9th century copper plate inscription of Devapaladeva Bengal, which is also in early Devanagari script. The term Kawi in Kawi script is a loan word from Kavya poetry. According to anthropologists and Asian studies scholars John Norman Mixic and Go Geok Yian, the 8th century version of early Nagari or Devanagari script was adopted in Java, Bali, Indonesia, and Khmer Cambodia around 8th or 9th century, as evidenced by the many inscriptions of this period. <laughs> Letters The letter order of Devanagari, like nearly all Brahmic scripts, is based on phonetic principles that consider both the manner and place of articulation of the consonants and vowels they represent. This arrangement is usually referred to as the Varnamala garland of letters. The format of Devanagari for Sanskrit serves as the prototype for its application, with minor variations or additions, to other languages. Topic vowels The vowels and their arrangement are, arranged with the vowels are two consonantal diacritics, the final nasal anasvara mm and the final fricative visarga hh called mm and a a. Masika 1991-146 notes of the anasvara in Sanskrit that there is some controversy as to whether it represents a homorganic nasal stop, a nasalized vowel, a nasalized semivowel, or all these according to context. The visarga represents post-vocalic voiceless glottal fricative h, in Sanskrit an allophone of s, or less commonly r, usually in word final position. Some traditions of recitation append an echo of the vowel after the breath, eihi, masika 1991-146 considers the visarga along with letters na na and nya nya for the largely predictable velar and palatal nasals to be examples of phonetic overkill in the system. Another diacritic is the Kandrabindu, Anunasika M.M. Solomon 2003 describes it as a more emphatic form of the anusvara, sometimes, used to mark a true vowel nasalization. In a new Indo-Aryan language such as Hindi the distinction is formal, the Kandrabindu indicates vowel nasalization while the anusvara indicates a homorganic nasal preceding another consonant, e.g. hamsi c, laughter, ganga, the Ganges. When an akshara has a vowel diacritic above the top line, that leaves no room for the kandra moon stroke kandrabindu, which is dispensed with in favor of the lone dot, hum u am, but hyam r. Some writers and typesetters dispense with the moon stroke altogether, using only the dot in all situations. The avagraha a, usually transliterated with an apostrophe is a Sanskrit punctuation mark for the elision of a vowel in sandhi, ekoyam ekoyam akas plus iam this one. An original long vowel lost to coalescence is sometimes marked with a double avagraha, sadatma sadatma sada plus atma always, the self. In Hindi, Snell 2000 states that its main function is to show that a vowel is sustained in a cry or a shout, i.i. 
In Madhyadeshi languages like Bhojpuri, Awadhi, Maithili, etc., which have quite a number of verbal forms that end in that inherent vowel, the avagraha is used to mark the non elision of word final inherent a, which otherwise is a modern orthographic convention. Baitha baitha versus baitha baitha. The syllabic consonants r, l, and l are specific to Sanskrit and not included in the Varnamala of other languages. The sound represented by r has also been lost in the modern languages, and its pronunciation now ranges from Hindi to U Marathi. L is not an actual phoneme of Sanskrit, but rather a graphic convention included among the vowels in order to maintain the symmetry of short long pairs of letters. There are non-regular formations of ru-ru and ru-ru. There are two more vowels in Marathi as well as Konkani, and O, that respectively represent A, similar to the RP English pronunciation of in act, and similar to the RP pronunciation of in cot. These vowels are sometimes used in Hindi too. IAST transliteration is not defined. In ISO 15919, the transliteration is E and O, respectively. Topic: <laughs> Consonants. The table below shows the consonant letters in combination with inherent vowel a and their arrangement. To the right of the Devanagari letter it shows the Latin script transliteration using International Alphabet of Sanskrit Transliteration, and the phonetic value IPA in Hindi. Rounding this out where applicable is Lala IPA, or, the intervocalic lateral flap allophone of the voiced retroflex stop in Vedic Sanskrit, which is a phoneme in languages such as Marathi, Konkani, and Rajasthani. Beyond the Sanskritic set, new shapes have rarely been formulated. Masika offers the following. In any case, according to some, all possible sounds had already been described and provided for in this system, as Sanskrit was the original and perfect language. Hence it was difficult to provide for or even to conceive other sounds, unknown to the phoneticians of Sanskrit. Where foreign borrowings and internal developments did inevitably accrue and arise in new Indo-Aryan languages, they have been ignored in writing, or dealt through means such as diacritics and ligatures ignored in recitation. The most prolific diacritic has been the subscript dot nukta. Hindi uses it for the Persian, Arabic and English sounds ka qa, q, ka xa, x, ga ga, za za, z, ja zha, and fa fa, f, and for the allophonic developments ra ra, and ra ra, although la la, a diaresis, could also exist, it is not used in Hindi. Sindhis and Sarikis implosives are accommodated with a line attached below. Aspirated sonorants may be represented as conjuncts, ligatures with ha ha, ma mha, na nha, na na, viha vha, la lha, la la, ra ra. Masika notes Marwari as using for da, while da represents for a list of the 297 33 times 9 possible Sanskrit consonant short vowel phonemes, see Aryabhata enumeration. <laughs> Allophony of v and w in Hindi V the voiced labiodental fricative and W the voiced labia velar approximant are both allophones of the single phoneme represented by the letter va in Hindi Devanagari. More specifically, they are conditional allophones, i.e. rules apply on whether va is pronounced as v or w depending on context. Native Hindi speakers pronounce va as v in vrat, vrata fast and w in pakvan, pakavana food dish, perceiving them as a single phoneme and without being aware of the allophone distinctions they are systematically making. However, this specific allophony can become obvious when speakers switch languages. Non-native speakers of Hindi might pronounce va in vrata as w, i.e. as wrat instead of the more correct vrat. This results in a minor intelligibility problem because wrat can easily be confused for orat, which means woman, instead of the intended fast abstaining from food, in Hindi. <laughs> compounds Table, compounds Vowels in their independent form on the left and in their corresponding dependent form vowel sign combined with the consonant k on the right. Ka is without any added vowel sign, where the vowel a is inherent. 
ISO 15919 transliteration is on the top two rows. A vowel combines with a consonant to form their compound letter. For example, the vowel a, a combines with the consonant k, k to form the compound ka, ka with halent removed and added vowel sign which is indicated by diacritics. The vowel a, a combines with the consonant k, k to form the compound ka, ka with halent removed. But, the compound letter series of ka ka ga ga ka kha ga gha is without any added vowel sign, as the vowel a, a is inherent. Topic. Conjunct consonants As mentioned, successive consonants lacking a vowel in between them may physically join together as a conjunct consonant or ligature. When Devanagari is used for writing languages other than Sanskrit, conjuncts are used mostly with Sanskrit words and loan words. Native words typically use the basic consonant and native speakers know to suppress the vowel when it is conventional to do so. For example, the native Hindi word karna is written karana ka -ra -na". The government of these clusters ranges from widely to narrowly applicable rules, with special exceptions within. While standardized for the most part, there are certain variations in clustering, of which the Unicode used on this page is just one scheme. The following are a number of rules. 24 out of the 36 consonants contain a vertical right stroke ka -kha, ga -gha, na -na, etc. As first or middle fragments, members of a cluster, they lose that stroke. E.g. Ta plus va. Topic. TVA TVA, na plus da. Enda enda, sa plus da equals sta stha. In Unicode, these consonants without their vertical stems are called half forms. Sa s a appears as a different, simple ribbon-shaped fragment preceding va v a, na na, ka c a, la la, and ra ra, causing these second members to be shifted down and reduced in size. Thus sva sva, sna sna, ska ska sla sla, and shra shra. Ra r a as a first member takes the form of a curved upward dash above the final character or it's a diacritic, e.g. rva rva, rva rva, rspa rspa, rspa rspa. As a final member with ta ta da 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 ra ra cha cha it is two lines below the character, pointed downwards and apart. Thus tra tra thre thre dra 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 re re cra chra. Elsewhere as a final member it is a diagonal stroke extending leftwards and down. E.g. cra gra bra, ta ta is shifted up to make tra tra. As first members, remaining characters lacking vertical strokes such as da d a and ha h a may have their second member, reduced in size and lacking its horizontal stroke, placed underneath. Ka k a, cha ch a, and fe ph a shorten their right hooks and join them directly to the following member. The conjuncts for k's and jane are not clearly derived from the letters making up their components. The conjunct for k's is kasa k plus sa and for jane it is jane j plus nya. Topic. Accent marks The pitch accent of Vedic Sanskrit is written with various symbols depending on shaka. In the Rigveda, Anudata is written with a bar below the line, Svarita with a stroke above the line, while Udata is unmarked. Topic. Punctuation The end of a sentence or half verse may be marked with the quote quote symbol called a danda, meaning bar, or called a purna viram, meaning full stop pause. The end of a full verse may be marked with a double danda, a symbol. A comma called an alpa viram, meaning short stop pause, is used to denote a natural pause in speech. Other punctuation marks such as colon, semicolon, exclamation mark, dash, and question mark are currently in use in Devanagari script, matching their use in European languages. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Old forms. The following letter variants are also in use, particularly in older texts. Topic Numerals
Topic: <laughs> Fonts. A variety of Unicode fonts are in use for Devanagari. These include, but are not limited to, Akshar, Annapurna, Arial, CDAC Jist Sarek, CDAC Jist Yogesh, Chandas, Gargi, Garuma, Jaipur, Jana, Kalamati, Kanjiroa, Lohit Devanagari, Mongol, Rugu, Sanskrit 2003, Santapur OT, Siddhanta, Chaka, and Uttara. The form of Devanagari fonts vary with function. According to Harvard College for Sanskrit Studies, Udara companion to Chandas, is the best in terms of ligatures but, because it is designed for Vedic as well, requires so much vertical space that it is not well suited for the user interface font, though an excellent choice for the original field font. Santapur OT is a beautiful font reflecting a very early medieval era typesetting style for Devanagari. Sanskrit 2003 is a good all-around font and has more ligatures than most fonts, though students will probably find the spacing of the CDAC Gist Sarek font makes for quicker comprehension and reading. Google Fonts Project now has a number of new Unicode fonts for Devanagari in a variety of typefaces in serif, sans serif, display and handwriting categories. Transliteration There are several methods of romanization or transliteration from Devanagari to the Roman script. Hunterian system The Hunterian system is the national system of romanization in India and the one officially adopted by the Government of India. Topic ISO fifteen thousand nine hundred nineteen. A standard transliteration convention was codified in the ISO fifteen thousand nine hundred nineteen standard of two thousand one. It uses diacritics to map the much larger set of Brahmic graphemes to the Latin script. The Devanagari specific portion is nearly identical to the academic standard for Sanskrit IAST. IAST The International Alphabet of Sanskrit Transliteration is the academic standard for the romanization of Sanskrit. IAST is the de facto standard used in printed publications, like books, magazines, and electronic texts with Unicode fonts. It is based on a standard established by the Congress of Orientalists at Athens in 1912. The ISO 15919 standard of 2001 codified the transliteration convention to include an expanded standard for sister scripts of Devanagari, the National Library at Kolkata Romanization, intended for the romanization of all Indic scripts, is an extension of IAST. <laughs> Harvard Kyoto Compared to IAST, Harvard Kyoto looks much simpler. It does not contain all the diacritic marks that IAST contains. It was designed to simplify the task of putting large amount of Sanskrit textual material into machine-readable form, and the inventors stated that it reduces the effort needed in transliteration of Sanskrit texts on the keyboard. This makes typing in Harvard Kyoto much easier than IAST. Harvard Kyoto uses capital letters that can be difficult to read in the middle of words. Topic: <laughs> ITRANS. ITRANS is a lossless transliteration scheme of Devanagari into ASCII that is widely used on Usenet. It is an extension of the Harvard Kyoto scheme. In ITRANS, the word Devanagari is written Devanagari or Devanagari. ITRANS is associated with an application of the same name that enables typesetting in Indic scripts. The user inputs in Roman letters and the ITRANS pre-processor translates the Roman letters into Devanagari or other Indic languages. The latest version of ITRANS is version 5.30 released in July, 2001. It is similar to Veldius system and was created by Avinash Chapta to help print various Indic scripts with personal computers. 
Topic: Velduas. The disadvantage of the above ASCII schemes is case sensitivity, implying that transliterated names may not be capitalized. This difficulty is avoided with the system developed in 1996 by Franz Velduas for TEX, loosely based on IAST, in which case is irrelevant. Ala <laughs> LC Romanization Ala LC Romanization is a transliteration scheme approved by the Library of Congress and the American Library Association, and widely used in North American libraries. Transliteration tables are based on languages, so there is a table for Hindi, one for Sanskrit and Prakrit, etc. WX WX is a Roman transliteration scheme for Indian languages, widely used among the natural language processing community in India. It originated at IIT Kanpur for computational processing of Indian languages. The salient features of this transliteration scheme are as follows. Every consonant and every vowel has a single mapping into Roman. Hence it is a prefix code, advantageous from computation point of view. Lower case letters are used for unaspirated consonants and short vowels, while capital letters are used for aspirated consonants and long vowels. While the retroflex stops are mapped to t, t, d, d, in, the dentals are mapped to w, w, x, x, in. Hence the name wx, a reminder of this idiosyncratic mapping. Topic: <laughs> Encodings. Topic: <laughs> ISCII. ISCII is an 8-bit encoding. The lower 128 code points are plain ASCII, the upper 128 code points are ISCII specific. It has been designed for representing not only Devanagari but also various other Indic scripts as well as a Latin-based script with diacritic marks used for transliteration of the Indic scripts. ISCII has largely been superseded by Unicode, which has, however, attempted to preserve the ISCII layout for its Indic language blocks. <laughs> Unicode The Unicode standard defines three blocks for Devanagari, Devanagari U plus U plus F, Devanagari Extended U plus A8 E O U plus A8 FF, and Vedic Extensions U plus 1 C D O U plus 1 C F F. Devanagari keyboard layouts Topic: InScript layout. InScript is the standard keyboard layout for Devanagari, as standardized by the Government of India. It is inbuilt in all modern major operating systems. Microsoft Windows supports the InScript layout using the Mongol font, which can be used to input Unicode Devanagari characters. InScript is also available in some touchscreen mobile phones. Topic. Typewriter This layout was used on manual typewriters when computers were not available or were uncommon. For backward compatibility some typing tools like Indic Eme still provide this layout. Topic. Phonetic Such tools work on phonetic transliteration. The user writes in Roman and the email automatically converts it into Devanagari. Some popular phonetic typing tools are Baraha email and Google email. The Mac OS X operating system includes two different keyboard layouts for Devanagari, one is much like InScript, KDE Linux, the other is a phonetic layout called Devanagari QWERTY. Any one of Unicode font's input system is fine for Indic language Wikipedia and other wiki projects, including Hindi, Bhojpuri, Marathi, Nepali Wikipedia. Some people use InScript. Majority uses either Google Phonetic Transliteration or Input Facility Universal Language Selector provided on Wikipedia. 
On Indic language Wikiproject's phonetic facility provided initially was Java-based later supported by Narayam extension for phonetic input facility. Currently Indic language wiki projects are supported by Universal Language Selector ULS, that offers both phonetic keyboard Aksharantaran, Marathi, Aksarantarana Hindi, Lipyantarana Bolanagari and Inscript keyboard Marathi. Marathi The Ubuntu Linux operating system supports several keyboard layouts for Devanagari, including Harvard Kyoto, WX Notation, Bolanagari and Phonetic. The Remington typing method in Ubuntu IBUs is similar to the Krutidev typing method, popular in Rajasthan. The iTrans method is useful for those who know English well and the English keyboard but not familiar with typing in Devanagari. <laughs> See also